our con our contributions in education will be our legacy in this industry. Whether it's through live education or maybe through social media, we're always trying to make a personal connection with you, the learner. At Canvia, we believe our smile is our business card and our personality is our logo. And how we make people feel after you experience our education and tools is our trade. Join us. Join us. Join us. Join us, my friends, and be a part of the Sandia community. Good morning, my friends. Good afternoon. Good evening. Wherever you happen to be, it's Sam Via here and it's Mannequin Monday. That's right. Mannequin Monday. What are we going to do today? Well, today what I want to do is I want to share with you some great long hair tricks. That's what I want to do with you. I want to share with you how to add some value. Sometimes these long hair clients that you're working with, they're going out with no blow dry or maybe there's no time to blow dry or maybe it's mandated you can't blow dry. So I want to share some really cool tricks with you. Um, hi, Debias, where are you from? Hey, do me a favor. Everybody in the chat box, in the chat box that's on, uh, do me a favor and just type in there where are you from. Glenn is from India. Welcome, India. Imelda, good morning from Massachusetts. How are you this morning, Imelda? And then I've got, uh, let's see, Twinkle, Twinkle Academy. Okay, great. Glad you're on. Rocco Mendez from Riverside. Uh, no, that's not Rocco. That's Rochio. Rotillo Flores. I hope I pronounced that right, my friend. Anyway, that's what we're going to focus on today. But I want to introduce somebody to you first that's uh, real special to me, and that's my man, Kurt Gerhein. Kurt, how are you this morning, Kurt? Mr. Ria, it's a pleasure to be working with you on air again, sir. Yes. Uh, let me just tell you guys, in case you don't know who Kurt is, Kurt is actually one of the co-founders of Sam Via the brand. I wouldn't be where I'm at if it wasn't for this man over here, and that's Mr. G over there. But he's a dear friend. We've been friends for over, God, 40 years, yeah. I think. Yeah, we've been running over 40 now. Personal good friends. He and I and uh, Beth Carson, we actually started the brand Sam Via. And uh, it was their, their vision as well as mine that we created a, a company that supported the salon professional on the tool side, ergonomically friendly for you. And then also on the education side, Andrew is out camping. So therefore you see Kurt and Kurt will probably be taking over in the future. Andrew's becoming so busy. Plus I want to get Andrew from behind the scenes and get him back out where he belongs. And that's teaching with you guys. And then don't forget, Kurt, we've got a great show coming up on July the 26th and 27th. Correct? Yes, yes we do. We have two days, full two full days or four hour days of direct education from the Sanvia art team. Uh, those of us that have been following along with, uh, you know, our programming, uh, COVID and, and beyond, know that this has become what we believe one of the strengths of our brand to have Sam and his team in front of you every, every as often as we can do it, uh, without overloading you with too much good education. So we're excited by next weekend for sure, and I hope you all join us for that one. Yes, that's once again, July the 26th, 27th, Sunday and Monday. It goes all day long from 11 a.m. until uh, 5 p.m. Or no, till 3. What time, Kurt? Uh, it'll be 11 a.m. East Coast time through 3 p.m. Um, East, East Coast time. Yeah, 11 East. to 3. Those of you on the West Coast, 8 a.m. to noon. Yep, and we've got a great special guest. We have a tech expert from Mazzani. That's E.V. Uh, E.V. Uh, E.V. What's Evie's last name? God, I just like you know, Evie, we just we just went Evie Johnson. Thank you. I was just spent the day with her yesterday in her in her, her uh, language of texture class from Mizani, yeah. which was a great class, by the way. There's so much education out there, Kurt. But Kurt, thank you, my friend, for you being who you are, and uh, thanks for covering up behind the scenes today. And you you're taking over that in the future, so you're going to see more of Kurt. Uh, thank you, brother. Love you, you man. Bet, Sam. Have a great right. show and enjoy, everyone. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get, let's get started. First thing I want to do is I want to show you something that's pretty interesting, and that is it's Mannequin Monday, so I've got these mannequins. I'm going to be moving around all morning long, but the first thing I want to do is just start out with, let's say, for example, you've got a long hair client that walks in, 
and she is not going to be able to you're not going to blow dry her hair she doesn't have the time to blow dry her hair and she is going to go out so here's what i've done for you this is basically a really cool uh, idea in terms of her going out now i've done this rather quickly in terms of prep but the donuts i tried to find smaller donuts i couldn't find them two small donuts work great okay but what i did is i used two large donuts and i think you can see where i'm going here basically what you want to do is take a zigzag part okay so i've taken a zigzag part in here in regards to not being able to see a part plus by taking a zigzag part what that's going to do is that's going to give me a little bit more volume. I see Australia is on the right. Yes, Evie Johnson. Thank you that for Amina. How could I forget Evie's last name? But anyway, look at, see, I've got a zigzag part running from the side area. And zigzag part, what that's going to do is it's going to give me a little volume. So what we basically did, here's a scenario. Let's say, for example, you're working in the salon. You've got a highlight. She's going to go out for the rest of the day. She's going to go out wet. I suggest putting two ponytails in. And you can put them even, place them where you want. I've got them offset, kind of tilted. So I've got uh, the heavy side is more forward. I pulled the lighter side, the more on the side part, I have pulled that back. Now, let me show you what I did. What, what, what I want to do is I want to get basically a set. That's what I'm trying to do is give her a day, something where she can go out. So let's say that's a smaller donut. And with a smaller donut, you're going to cover up more of the hair. Okay, you're going to cover up more of the donut. So now the, she's walking around through the day. She's like this. Then when she wants during the, as it goes to the evening, take this out. Okay. So first what I'm going to do is show you how I did this. Now look at the set I got. See that set I got out of that? Just cool little texture out of that. So pull a ponytail. So Sam, is there another way that they could actually do this in terms of when they do this? Yeah. How about doing a ponytail up at the top, place the donut, pull it through, and I'm going to show you how to do it now. So you're going to place the donut in once you have that. Then I want you to just take a section. See, I just take a section. Now, what I want to do is I want to use One United. So I use Redkin's One United as a setting lotion. Okay, 25 different benefits, but I want a little bit of moisture in here. So instead of using water, I worked with One United. Then I came back and I actually layered that with my Triple Pure, Redkin's Triple Pure 32. If you're looking for a fragrance, a no neutral fragrance in terms of a hairspray, this one is perfect for you. So what you want to do is... Hit it with the One United, which is what I did. Then I hit it with the hairspray. Now take the section and you take your finger through and just wrap through just like you would. Okay. Now what I'm doing is by taking it individually like this, see how I've got the end. Now take a piece, add that to it. So I add that to that and I continue to wrap. Okay. Now this is great in the morning for a client to do. This is great in the evening for a client to do. But I think it's about showing these clients these little hair hacks, if you will, showing them these little tricks that they can do at home in order to make life a little bit easier. Especially now, there tends to be this no poo movement going on, Kurt. And this no poo movement is basically why dry, dry shampoos are becoming very popular. I happen to like Redkin's Invisible. For those of you that have dry, dark levels of color, you want a dry shampoo that's not going to leave a residue that's able to see. So reach for Redkin's Invisible Dry Shampoo. Or you can use a deep clean, deep clean dry shampoo, which is for those that shampoo maybe once every three to four days. That's a great one. But there is a no poo movement going on. Now, once you get to the end here, take a grip. Then all I want you to do is simply open up the grip, just wrap that hair in there, now come through and slide the grip in and you're ready to go. Now, can you see guys, if this was a smaller donut, sm sorry, I couldn't find one, this would just look like a regular bun there. While she's out enjoying the day, then come back through, release the pen, look for your pen, release that, and now come back through and let's take a look at this set now. So once again, these are ideas that I think that as what you're going to start to change in terms of the way we finish hair and what we're actually doing to the hair, that's going to be important. So there's just one pin in there. Now, once I come through, take this out. This is your set. Now watch the, the just the, the curl, the natural, and it's just very soft. You can see how that's just really soft. And that probably... Hey, everyone. I think we just saw Sam freeze up on us. If you give us just a moment, we'll have him back ready to rock. Uh, just give us just a tiny bit of a, a minute or two for us to get to work on this. Thank you so much, guys.
Entertainment, Hello, everyone. Yes, yeah. I hope y'all still see me here. Um, I'm now just waking, working with Sammy to get him back into the camera for us, and he'll be with us just with any instant here, any time now. Um, I do want you to know that we are working diligently to ensure that as we go through COVID here, there is every opportunity for you to participate with us throughout the COVID era uh, online and directly with. Um, us by our online business that we are offering you. So as you know, we have plenty of sales. I've got Sammy ready to go here. So we're going to go. All Sammy. Right. Hey. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Thank you, Kirk. All right, guys, let's get back to it. So you can just see how I've gotten this set. But once again, just to give it some texture and some movement, that's basically what this idea is. Instead of it just being straight, now just come through, work with the hands. And once again, I'm working with Redkins Triple Pure 32. Coming in and just working. See, I, I really believe what we need to do is start adding some value behind the chair. And what I mean by that is start teaching them little things that they can do to do at home for maintenance. And like I said, a lot of, a lot of people, are, they're not tending to dry their hair so much. That no poo movement, I think, is really kind of uh, something that we just need to complement. So that was just from two simple donuts. Now, if you learned something there, say yes. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to write the questions in there. All right, cool. All right, so that was just, some, once again, two simple donuts. These were pretty soft and they were pretty big. Uh, depending upon the length, you want to go the smaller the donut. If you're going to be wearing the donuts, if they're going to wear the donuts during the day, highly recommend small donuts, not so much the large ones, so that you're not able to see through that. All right, just type in yes if you learned something there. All right, let's move on now. Let's take this and let's go over here. All right, so let's go in and let's talk about ponytails for a moment. All right, and let me just take this first. Let's do this. All right. So what I want to show you is a, a couple tricks with just ponytails. And what I've done here is I've simply gone through and I've attached a ponytail and I took it from the ear to the ear, just attached a ponytail there. OK, and I want to work more with the natural texture. Uh, a lot of times working with natural texture is great when you're doing these types of things. Make it simple. Keep it simple, guys. So now what I want to do is, let's say, for example, this particular ponytail here, I want to go through and I want to cover this. So I'm going to just split this in half. And these are simple little tricks. I think that if you show these little tricks to these moms and these daughters. So, for example, Sam, how can I take the time to show these? Guys, you're taking one client at a time. Okay, this is so valuable. Listen to what I'm about to share with you. If you're doing one client at a time, let me say it that way. If you are doing one client at a time and you're highlighting, now that highlighting is processing. My question is, what are you doing while you're waiting that? Most of us know, most of you now are not double booking. So this is where you want to invest in a pivot point mannequin. And this is where you go and sit with a client and you teach them how to do these little tricks on the mannequin. Simple little things like that. That's adding value to that appointment time, guys. So instead of getting on the phone or walking away from the client and waiting for that process time, I want you to think of ways that you could use your time in a much more valuable way. Now, watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to take that, that split in the middle, that center, and I'm really working really casual with these guys. I want it almost to look like they did it themselves, all right? So I come through. I wrap around that elastic, okay? So I wrap this around that elastic. That's all I'm simply going to do. Lift the ponytail, wrap around. Now, look at the crease. That, now, as I wrap, there's where that section is. That's the section. You're going to take an elastic, and then I want you to come through with the elastic. Now, let's talk about elastics. This is elastic. It's a rubber, rubber-like, okay? So what I want you to do is coat it with Outshine 01. That's what I want you to do. Coat the elastic with Redkin's Outshine 01. See, what that does is that buffers the elastic. It coats the elastic, so it buffers the cuticle. So you're not having this elastic strain right on top of that cuticle. Now let's come through. Wrap the elastic. Now watch this little hair hack. With an elastic so big and a skinny ponytail, rather than crossing the elastic and pulling through again, crossing again and pulling through again, I want you to just twist, twist, twist. All right, Michael's got a question. If this set is on damp hair, how do you keep from getting a crease at the band? I would suggest what you do is you use a cloth-covered elastic, 
Okay. Now here's a trick. If you're concerned even about a cloth covered elastic, leaving a crease, I want you to take wrap cloth around where you're going to place the elastic and then place the elastic over the cloth. So that way you're not getting this indentation. But I also gave you the uh, idea of using cloth. A piece of cloth would be placed there, wrapped around, and now I wrap it around that. That buffers it even more. I've also given the idea if you're using elastic and you don't want those crease marks, use outshine to protect and buffer the cuticle. That also helps a little bit. So little tips like this I think are so important. Now, did you see I just kept twisting and twisting? Now all I'm going to do is loop it through once. You see that, guys? I just looped that through once, and it's nice and tight. Now watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to push this up. So I just rouge that elastic up so I cover up that elastic. Okay, now take the second side. Now watch the second side. On the second side, all I'm going to do is take my brush. I saw we had someone from Australia. Welcome, Australia. Australia joined us. Now watch what I'm going to do. Watch how I'm going to come through. And Now all I'm going to do is take this. I'm going to drop it down lower where I was, and I'm just going to wrap it around that. And you'd wrap just once. That's all I want you to do is just wrap once. Now take an elastic, okay, another elastic, and we've talked about coating it with Outshine 01. There's my crease. There's that section. Place the elastic right underneath that, okay, and twist, twist, twist. See how I come through and I twist? Rather than trying to X once, pull through, X, pull through, X, pull through, just keep twisting until the twist gets tied at the base. Now pull through once. See, this doesn't mess up everything that I've created there. Okay, now come through, pull my elastic down, okay, pull this up. And now look at what I've done. I've been able to create just the idea of going through and rouging that up. It hides the elastic, and voila, you're ready to go. So simple little things with the ponytail are so important, okay? Uh, Jeremy, yeah, Jeremy from Australia. Loretta, thank you for being here. Patrick, thanks for being here. Hey, Marissa, how are you, sweetheart? Good to see you. So something real simple to do with an elastic, guys. Now, a lot of times what I'm doing with these, when I'm working with these, what's important is I love to go in and texturize them. So I'll hit these with a texturizer. I'll put this one over here. Okay, let's talk about that. And we have our uh, Christmas in July sale. Let's talk about a, a texturizer. This is a texturizer. Okay, let me give an example. This trick I'm going to show you here in a moment. This was so silky that when I was practicing the, the braid and everything that I was going to show, it kept slipping. So what you want to do is you want to alter the texture of the hair sometimes. So I'm working with what's called a texture iron. That's basically what this is. Some people refer to this as a mini crimping iron. I refer to it as a texture iron because we place the rails of the plate so close together that what you're doing is really focusing on making a little tiny crimp so it just textures the hair. It alters it to hair. So let me give an example, fine hair. One of the things with issue with fine hair is it doesn't hold volume. What I recommend is just weave like a highlight, texture what you weave, and now go in and curl it. The curl is going to hold better because you've disrupted that cuticle. A lot of times what I would do is I would recommend a highlight. Let's face it, guys, on fine hair, a highlight, it alters the texture. It creates damage, but yet it creates a damage that's advantageous to that fine hair. You're just exploding that cuticle a little bit. So sometimes you have to change the texture. So this is important to do. So what I did on this mannequin, I went in and I did just the center of the ponytail. So I fattened it up. I left everything on the outside natural. So just cool little things. Remember, tools are not an option. They're a necessity in order for us to work to get to the end result. All right, so we'll come back. All right, so now let's go through here. Let's first of all, let me show you how to cover up this elastic. You've seen this, I've shared this for years now, and all I'm gonna do is to take a hairpin, I'm gonna use a black one so you can see, okay? Now I've slid the top of the hairpin underneath the elastic, okay? For those of you who've seen this before, excuse me, I'm gonna show you a trick here in a moment, okay? Now watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come through, and I'm going to palm and pinch this. Look how I palm and pinch that. And the reason being is this is going to give me my control. This is the control factor. Now we're going to simply elevate this. So now, if do I want any kind of product on this? If there's anything that I want on this, I'm going to recommend some hairspray. My Triple Pure 32, I'm going to recommend that. So I get just a small amount of tack with this particular section. 
Okay. Now, once I've got that, watch what I'm going to do. We're going to come through, palm and pinch. Okay. Give me a little bit more length on the top of the pin without pulling through the legs of the elastic. Now come through and we wrap. Now notice how I'm pulling really tight with tension and my thumb maintains the tension. I come underneath, pull through, come underneath, pull through, and now take another hairpin. Okay. And think of this just like a needle and thread. So all I'm going to do is take this hair here, and we're going to thread that right through that hairpin. So we come through, and we thread. Okay. Once we have that, now we're going to come through. We're going to pull. See how I reach this piece that went through the hairpin? I pull and push this. Now come through, grab the legs of the hairpin, and pull through, and you've covered up your elastic. Okay, now let's talk about a couple braids here, a little couple unique braids that I think are real simple. Then also think about these braids being more as sets. Start thinking about the things that you're doing are as sets. For example, okay, let's say, for example, I know she's going to go to the pool. So why let her leave with it wet or whatever? Pull it back wet. Then I'm going to recommend put some conditioner in that. So I'm going to read, recommend Redkins Rebel Tame. I love using this to braid with, and it gives it some conditioning benefits. If you're not looking for the condi conditioning benefits, you want something a little bit more that's going to bind the hair together, work with Redkins Rough Paste 12. All right. What I did here today was I went in, I did a wrap dry, and I worked with a paddle brush with our paddle brush wrapping this dry. And now here's something that be really aware of, guys. Remember, I'm talking about adding value behind the chair. When the process, their hair is processing, you need to be teaching the client these tricks because you're not double booking, okay? Maybe some of you are, I don't know, but you're not double booking. You're waiting for that color to process. These are simple little things, just grabbing a mannequin and doing this. Let's talk about a paddle brush. The paddle brush, if I hold it horizontal, it's a bunch of pins coming out of a cushion. If I go through and I hold this in a vertical position, now I've actually lined up the pins so they're all lined up vertically. If I hold it horizontal, they're not lined up and they're just coming out all over the place. That said, if I go in and brush this horizontally, you are putting the tangles in deeper. What I want to do is line the bristles up and now I want to go through and I want to fan. Look, I'm using just the front edge of this brush and look how I just fan this through and look how I'm not pulling on the mannequin. So now let me give you a profile. Look at this. Look at the brush. See how the brush just comes through, glides through? Look how I'm not going through and I'm not forcing that. Now let's watch, go through this now horizontally. Look at the brush glide through now. Okay, there's a tangle there. I turn it vertical. Okay, so this is just once again another value added trick in terms of how to work with a paddle brush. Hi, Angie. How are you, my dear Sonia? Nice to see you. Um, Oh, Sonia, your husband's joined us today. Awesome. Okay. You sell. Nice to see you. All right. Now, once I have that with a paddle brush, I did a directional blow dry. Okay. That's what I did. Think about your blow dry just as important even when you're putting in a ponytail. Now, let's go back to the story. Sam, I can't blow dry. All right. No problem. Let's do some braids now. Now, watch what I'm going to do. What I want to do is I'm going to do a three-strand braid, but I'm going to do it in a little bit more of a different type of way. All right, so we're going to divide this in half. That gives me two equal parts. Now divide these in half, and now that gives me three equal parts. Okay, so now I have right, middle, and left. Okay, so let's just take the right and the middle. I'm going to slice. Look at my index finger. Slice that. Watch my thumb come around and open. I go to a, uh, uh, a pull-through position, connecting my thumb and index finger on the middle section. Now I just claw middle finger and thumb, and pull apart. Now palm and pinch that X right there. Okay, now let's go to the left side. Notice how my left hand is free. Now we're going to come through, and we're going to, I'm going to move that closer so you can see, guys. All right, let's move her there. All right, now watch. So I come through, I slice. Now watch me open it, put my thumb inside. Now watch me go to grab that middle. See, I grab that middle with my thumb index. Now with the right hand, Middle finger grabs that side, thumb grabs the top side, pull through and apart, palm and pinch the left X. Now my right hand is free. Slice. You've seen, some of you probably have seen me teach this, but look how I'm doing with three strands now. Slice, open, pull through, claw, separate, palm, pinch. Slice, open, pull through, claw, separate, palm, pinch. Slice, open, 
pull through, separate. Okay, so let's talk a little more detail. Slices in two sections. Now, the object is to get these two sections, get this middle strand through that. See, I did that? Just grab it. Now, get these two strands that you split, get them to be the middle section now. See how that's the middle now? Now, watch this. I'm going to split that in two, pull it through, separate with, through this particular strand, and now these two sections here that I slice now become the middle. Palm and pinch. And the reason you get rhythm going, you palm and pinch, because it makes it so much easier working with. So we're here, slice, open, pull through, and claw. Look at that. Slice, open, here. Now, if you want, have the client hold that. So while the client is holding that, just work with your two hands. See that? Now she holds that. All right. Or if you can, practice. I want you to do it on your own. Slice, pull through, claw, separate. Slice, open, pull through, claw, separate. So all I'm doing, once again, look at the detail. Slice, open. Now watch me get this middle through that. So we want to bring it through that, grab it, and then bring that to the middle. Real simple, guys. So my rhythm is palm, pinch, slice, open, pull through, claw, separate. Palm, pinch, slice, open, pull through, claw, separate. Palm, pinch. Any questions, guys? All right. Are you getting this? Anna from Mizani. How are you, my dear? Nice to see you. Oh, no, from Miami. From Miami. Hey, listen, my thoughts and prayers are with you in Miami. I'm in Florida also. So here we go. All right. Now look at, see, I keep working. Work all the way down. Sam, what makes this so unique? Well, let me show you. Take a look at this. When you look at this up close and personal, look how round that is. Do you see how that's round? So it's really three-dimensional. So it's great with fine hair doing this. And then also what I want to share with you, here's another set. So this is a cool way to set the hair. So what I want you to do is start thinking about how you can do these quick little things without picking up a blow dryer. And then when they take these little things out, they're looking good. But when they take them out, they have themselves some texture going on. I think that's that's important. Here we go. Here's the elastic. Now watch the elastic. That's a skinny ponytail right there. Okay. So watch me, watch me twist. See, I'm just going to grab it. Now watch me twist, twist, twist. See, I just keep twisting. So that that twist eventually gets tight there. Now all I'm going to do is cr cross through once. Okay. Simple little trick to share with those clients. Now let's cover up this elastic here. Taking a hairpin. So watch how we're going to take a hairpin. Come right back through. I'm going to slide that right underneath. Okay. And as I slide that through, watch me come through here. All right. Watch me wrap. Sam, are you kidding me? You're doing the same thing. You did up here, but only with this much length. Look how much length I have. This is what's so unique about this trick. If you master this trick, you can cover up a ponytail, cover up the elastic after you braid. Now look at that. Look at that little piece. Look at, look at, see that little piece, guys? Now watch me just pull that through there, and voila, you've been able to do that. Then let's say, for example, she doesn't want it down. All right, come through and simply do this. Just simply wrap that. Now, now, can you see how you've got this little set thing going on? How it's just a simple little set. Could I pull these out, Sam, if I wanted to? Sure, guys. Remember, I'm just a messenger. I'm giving you the trick. You take it and you make it your own. Hairpin goes in. Catch. One direction. Opposite direction. And good to go. Okay. But just some really cool little ideas in terms of braiding. Questions? Are you learning something? If you're learning something, just give me a yes, guys. Give me a yes. All right. So let's talk about what we've done so far. Here we did a three-strand pull-through braid. Okay. Here, I'm going to do something for you at the end. Here, what we've done is we've come through here, and we, we covered up that elastic and, and through the back by simply adding two ponytails. I could probably put a pin up at that top. Okay, you can see that there. Let me just adjust that light. All right, there. And then what we did was, remember, we did a two donut set here. Okay, look at the texture that I've got out of that. Okay, so we did a two donut set here. That was easy. 
And I love this little set, man, because it's just so, so easy to work with. All right. So we've done these three. Let's move them back and let's continue. All right. I want to keep everything out here that I've that I'm working with, with with you today. All right. Let's go to this this next one now. And what I want to do is let's actually put you right here. Let's see. I want to use, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put you, my dear, down here. You here. All right, guys, just getting organized here. All right, here we go. All right. Now, what I want to do is show you another braid here. All right. And I think what's interesting about this braid is you've probably seen this, but let's go through, and I'm, I'll come back through, and I want to go back to that and do something pretty exciting as we get towards the end here. All right, here we go. Now. Let's take this guy and let's just go through and show you some braids, all right? So now, remember you were asking about the crease and the elastic? See, I use a colored, uh, uh, covered elastic. And then I talked about a cloth or even a tissue. Place, place it there. That buffers that elastic mark if you're really concerned about getting that elastic mark. All right, let's cover up this elastic. Master this trick, guys. I really guarantee you master this trick. You show it once to a client, they're going to love you. Okay, now I come through. All right, and I wrap. Okay, once I've wrapped, I'm taking another hairpin, okay, and watch how I gather all of this hair. See, I open up the legs of that hairpin, feed it through just like a sewing needle, needle and thread, push through, and you've covered up that elastic. All right, so let's go to another one now. All right, so what's really cool about that, I just gave you right there, I just gave you using three sections. You could certainly use two. Watch, slice, open, pull through, slice open claw pull through slice open claw pull through see that's two sections right there very very simple okay very simple to do all right now let's do this let's take this now and now let's do a fishtail so watch how i'm going to do this with a fishtail so i want a little bit more control i want more of a binding action i'm going to reach for a paste my product of choice is going to be my redken rough paste 12 all right all right. Now, before I do this, watch me just take the texture iron. And this is what I mean by going through. Now, what I love about this, remember, we have our Christmas in July sale going on. Color treated, guys. I want you to see that right there. Okay. Color treated. Okay. Not going over 292. When you go over 292, you're affecting color molecules right there. And then you have high and low. Here's your temperature settings. Take a look at your di digital color, your, your color. When you get to red, it stops blinking. It's at its high heat. Now, this is what I talked about in terms of using a texture iron. This is still a little bit slippery for me. So because it's slippery, I want to have a little bit more action to that. So I'm going to come through. And look at how I'm just taking slices in the center. Okay. And now I'm going to scrimp this. Before I apply my product, I just want to scrimp it. So I'm going to come through. And look how I got it. And now I'm just going to tap, 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 tap. So I'm using about a medium compression. Okay. So I'm not getting a really true crimp there. I'm just disrupting that cuticle surface. So I get a little bit more of a pliable texture rather than a satin finished texture. See, there's times when I, you want a, shine, a high shine and there's times when you want matte. Okay, there's times when I want a nice polished finish, and then there's times when I want a textured finish, or I want more plump, more volume to that hair, and this works great. Sam, well, how else could you use a texture iron? Texture iron, you could use this at the base, at the crown, okay? So what I want you to do is basically if a client back combs their hair, you're going to take horizontal sections, just come in and crimp at the base, at the base, at the base. Now just massage, and you're going to get the volume. I like to do that because it modernizes the backcombing. Backcombing can tend to be a little bit more vintage looking. And vintage to me means old. And I don't know anybody that woke up this morning and said, I want to look old. So it's up to you guys to share with them in terms of that. Now, see how I just tap and I just scrimp it? Sam, what else could you do with a texture iron? Let's say, for example, you have these girls coming in and they're going to go out. Uh, to their prom or they're just going to go out for the evening and they talk about long hair, it's heavy, how it doesn't hold a curl, then I would suggest you go through and you scrimp it. Just take random sections all the way through. And then what you want to do is come through and just boop, 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 just tap it. Okay. So you just alter it, raise that cuticle. Now come back in and set it with a curling iron. That's right, with a curling iron. Okay, that's good there. 
All right. And all I did, just some random pieces. I've got my rough paste emulsifying. Sam, I have an issue with my, my husband. When he puts on his paste on his hair, he tends to get it too clumpy in two in areas. And it's difficult for him to get it on. Well, what I want you to do is, for example, this is Redken Bruise, like a, uh, this is a, a high hold pomade. See, now take the product, place it in the cap, and now take a blow dryer and just melt that. Then once you have that melted, take it, emulsify, now put it on, and you'll get a nice even application. So it doesn't get so clumpy and too much hair, too much product in one area, which it can happen very easily. Okay. How are we doing, guys? You doing good? You having fun? All right. Now, let's go through and now let's take a look at the idea. I just showed you two. Now what I want to do is I want to show you a fishtail. So watch what I'm going to do. Look how I'm just working my product through. That paste, it's going to bind that hair a little bit more. Now let's talk about fishtail. Okay, let me give it to you square. All right, fishtail. Okay, you know how to do a fishtail. I'm sure you do. Slice. I tilt my hand over, place it there. Now I'd slice, tilt my hand over, place it there. So, and rather than just tilting my hand and over, we're going to do something different like what we just did. Watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a slice. There's my slice here. Now I'm going to take this slice rather than bringing it over to my left hand. I'm going to slice that into two. And now I'm going to pull it through to the left hand. So I'm doing exactly what I just showed you in that two strand and three strand braid. I'm basically just going to pull this through. Now look at that. So I split that section and brought it through. What came through came to the right. Now this becomes one on this side. Now watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a slice here. Okay, see that slice? Now I'm going to take this slice, what normally would come over to my right hand, slice that in two, split it. Now just pass it through to your right hand. Okay, now look at my fishtail. See, there's my fishtail. Now I take another section. Okay, I'm going to slice this. I'm sure you've seen this before, guys. I'm not a magician. I'm your messenger. Okay, look at that. See that? Now I come through. I slice. So we come through, slice, open, pull through to the opposite side. And I've, I've discovered, guys, the smaller the slices, the more drama it adds to it, the more visual drama it adds to it. So try to keep your slices consistent, okay, in terms of the thickness of each slice. So this is the rhythm. Then you just continue to work this down. Now, what I love about this, guys, is once again, you're getting a fishtail, but watch how, at the end, how visually different this fishtail is going to look. So I come through there, come through over here, slice, opposite side, you split it and pull through. Are you seeing the fishtail? So you can start to see the fishtail there. Okay, now watch me slice and op slice and pull through opposite side. Keep it nice and tight. So the tension, when I pull these, these apart, I pull nice and tight. Okay, watch here. Now watch me palm both and pull. Okay, and you can just start to see how that fishtail is developing here. I'm going to speed up a little bit. I want you to see this. I'll work about halfway down. I want to move to another, another trick for you. So once again, these are ideas, guys, for these longer hair clients that are coming in for their color services. You're doing a little trim. Let them walk out with something. Okay, add some value to that. Or, and sometimes maybe you're not blow drying. These are added little trips, tips for little things that maybe you're not blow drying and you want to finish the hair. Okay, so I've given you some ideas there in terms of finishing, finishing that. And for those of you that are interested today, I'm going to go be going live from 3 to 6 o'clock with Redken. You need to reserve a spot for that class. So check out Redken.com, Redken Education, and I'll be there live at 3 o'clock doing some other things different. I'm going to be doing a haircut, and then I'm going to be showing uh, something there in terms of long hair also. Okay, so I slice, open, pull through. Okay, slice. And so, Sam, when you slice, are you slicing from underneath? Guys, Just take, you're overthinking it. Just take a section on the side. See that? Slice, pull through. Okay, take a section on the slide. See, I just pinch it. The section comes out. Now slice and pull through. Okay, now watch. When I, when I get down a little further, that's when you really start to see what, by doing this, the visual value it adds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a fishtail on all sides. So you will get a fishtail on all sides, not what's just one. 
Okay, Zakia, I just solved your problem of making a fishtail. Good. This is really easy. But what I like about it is not the it's necessarily the ease. What I like more is the visual end result. Now here's one where I could have pulled that a little tighter. Okay, not going to stand in front of you and say I'm perfect, guys. You know, I make mistakes, but I learn from my mistakes. It's no longer a mistake if I learn from it. Can you see the fishtail? Now watch. Okay, I, I want to show it to you. Okay. Sam, could I do this wet? Yes, it's great wet. All right. So now let's just put an elastic on this. Okay. There. And now watch this. Look at this fishtail. Okay. Now when I bring this close, look at the fishtail underneath. See the fishtail? Look at the fishtail on the side. Okay. And on this side. So now what you've done is you've got a four 3D fishtail. So it's, there's like one, two, three. There's actually 40. <laughs> there's four different, four fishtails to it. Okay. So now let's cover this up. This is such a valuable trick. I hope if anything, you're walking away with this one today. Been doing this one from year for years. It's just so valuable in the way that it works. Okay. And you can see, you know, speed comes with practice, guys. Practice, practice, practice. Practice makes better. Okay. So speed comes with that. Come through. And there you can see the fishtail that I've created on that one. Okay. Pretty cool. Sorry for my a little bit of sloppiness there, guys. But you can start to see that fishtail is everywhere. So it's not doesn't just sit on top. And then once again, here we go again. You know, just the idea of creating something a little bit different with that. All right, cool. Now, let's take this guy before I go one more. Let's take this one out. And then I'm going to show you something that's pretty cool in terms of working with elastics. Okay, so let's say, for example, I really believe that what we're starting to see is we're starting to see a lot of accessories. Hello, everyone. To compliment the human. There we go. Jeremy's back, everyone. I'll turn him over. Oh, how long was I out, Kurt? Was I out for a while so I can Sammy. go back? Sammy, you were out just for a moment. Okay. Yeah, just for a moment. All right, great. Thank you, You're Kurt. Not narrative at all, buddy. All right. All right, guys. So what I'm going to show you now is I'm going to show you, uh, I'm talking about accessories. You know, the hair is an accessory. The hair is the only fabric on the human body that can be molded and shaped to complement the human body. So the idea then is this, is that what I want to do is create more like a kind of like a flower, just working with elastics. And something I've been working on that's just really cool in terms of how it works. So now watch. I'm going to take a section. Okay. And now my product of choice is going to be that paste again, Redkin's Rough Paste 12. Okay. And I'm using... Just little pea sizes. That's all I'm using. Okay, so I'm going to come through, and this will bind that section together. See how it binds that together? Okay. Now, once I'm here, take an elastic. Okay. Now let's bring her down just slightly so you can see the result of this and how it works. All right, let's go right there. Okay, here. Okay. Now, watch this really closely, guys. So, uh, let's see. I think what I want to do is I'm going to show you here first. Okay, so let's go here first so you can kind of see what I'm going to do. So let's put you there. Okay, let's put it here. Okay, now I'm going to bring this up. So I'm going to show you on this string the action of my hands and the elastic. So now watch. So I'm going to take the hair. That's the hair. Here's the elastic. Okay, let's move her over here so you get the white background. Okay, you move there. All right. All right. So important to me you see it, guys, and you get this. Oh, no. <laughs> Stand back up, love. There you go. All right. So important to me you see this one, guys, in regards to That's why I want to set this up perfectly for you. Sorry, I thought I had it set up, but then I wanted to show you this. All right, here we go. Let's go here. Okay, now watch the action. What I'm going to do. Here's the elastic. Okay. It's just a black small elastic, and you want to use small ones. Pick a color because the color is going to be exposed. Okay, you have to understand that. So you can use colorful ones, red ones, blue ones, clear, black. I'm going to use black so you can see. Now watch. I'm, this is the hair strand coming out of the head, out of the ponytail. I'm going to take my index finger, go over that hair strand. I'm going to pull that hair through 
give it a twist and place it on this finger. Okay, now I'm going to cross that. Watch me lock that one in. So I'm going to lock that in. See, I lock that in. Now there's my triangle. Can you see my triangle? You can see my triangle. Finger goes into the middle of the triangle, grab the rope, pull through, twist, place it on your index finger. Okay, lock that one in. Okay, see how I locked it in with an X? Now come through. Middle finger comes in, grab, pull through, twist. See, I twist that. And as I twist, I bring it back up on my finger. Okay, now watch. See how those elastics are there? Now watch me just twist that. Okay, now, boom, pull through and grab. Question from she Sheely's Makeup and Makeover. How can we do a 4D from the top of the head? You can do a 4D. Uh, oh, the fishtail. When you want to go in on the side, you're going to add hair from the, from the scalp to the side. So example. Once I split it, or excuse me, once I grab a section of hair from the side on the fishtail, you pick up a section from the head, add it to that, then split, then pass it through. So that way you can go through and you can, um, you can um, uh, attach it to the head. So you can attach it. Okay. Uh, okay, here we go. Now, once I'm here, boom. Okay, lock. Now bring the elastic, entire elastic over all of this. See, I grab that off. Slide that off, and I take the elastic over all of that. Now watch. Okay. Now when I release this, watch what it releases to. Okay. Now look at look at what it releases to. It releases to that. So you get this effect out of that. All right. So now let's take this to the hair, and let's try it on the hair. So that's the method of what you're doing and how you're doing it. I'll leave that there in case you want to see that again. All right, so here we go. Let's bring her down so you can see this. Okay, now watch. Take a section. Okay, once I'm here, now I'm just going to take that section, take my elastic. Okay, there's my triangle. Triangle goes on top, finger goes on top, pull the hair through, twist it, and place it on this triangle. On this finger, excuse me. Now watch me lock that in. You're going to do four of them. That's one. There's two. Lock. There's three. Lock. Look how my palm held the hair. There's the hair. It's my last one. Four. Yes, it gets smaller as you go. Lock, lock. Come, Bring the fingers together. Slide this off. As you slide this off, slide the elastic over all of this and release. And you get that. Okay, then let's come through, take a small hairpin and come through, legs together, take the legs together, catch some of that elastic and go right in. Okay, now let's do another one again, okay? You see how that looks, guys? If you're with me, just give me a yes, give me a, thumb, a thumbs up. All right, here we go, let's do another one. All right, questions on this, any questions? All right, once again. Product, not an option, a necessity. I'm working with a paste, Redken Rough Paste 12. Okay, I'm going to emulsify. Now just lay that section in the hand and slide through. Okay, now once you're there, grab your elastic. And once again, I'm working with very small elastics. Okay, now come through, triangle. Okay, you got the triangle. Hi, Jackie. I hope you're doing well, Jackie. We miss you. Sending you love, my dear. All right, watch now. Yes, Jackie, I got a project for you. All right, there. All right, here we go through. Now look at the triangle, okay? Bring the triangle on top and pull through and twist. Okay, okay, and twist. See, I lock that in. There's my triangle. Okay, now watch my middle index, my, excuse me, my index finger goes in, grab the section of hair, twist and pull through. Now lock. See that? Locked it with an X. Finger goes into the top, pull through, and lock. And finger comes to the top, pull through, and lock, lock, lock. Index fingers go together. Index fingers go together so that it doesn't fall out. Now come through, just slide it off. Once you have it off, take this excess elastic I have here and just throw it over all of that. And then release, and it automatically will go to that. Okay. Now, I don't know about you guys, but this is fun. This is like, you know, this is definitely accessorizing the hair. 
and you're going through and accessorizing. And once again, you could do this whole ponytail and believe it or not, when I've done this and I've left it from another class, I pulled it out. It's a great textured set. So you could do the whole ponytail like this and just do a whole bunch of them. When you're penning, Sam, any tricks? Yes. What I want you to do is pinch the legs of the pen together. Okay, just pinch them together. See that? And now catch some of that elastic and slide in and you're good to go. Okay. But look at how already that's just giving a, a ponytail just the idea of having an accessory. Okay. Did you like that one? Did you get something out of that one? It's real simple to do, guys. And remember, go back and watch this. We do repost this. All right. Jackie, let's do uh, our fun one. Sam, what if I want uh, more kind of like flyaways and I want that? I want this to look a little bit more natural. Okay. Whenever you want that, I want you to take a chamois cloth. Okay. This is a chamois cloth that we I wash my car with. You dry your car off. I like to use a hairspray. So I'm going to work with my favorite at the moment. Triple Pure 32, just going to spray. You can spray both sides. Okay, now watch what I'm going to do. I'm just going to lay this on top, and now I'll come back the opposite way. So I just get these flyaways. All right, this is a matter of taste. People are going, oh, no, he just messed it up. You know, I think it's just a matter of taste in terms of what are you looking for? What do you want to see in terms of these flyaways? But look how that, see how that pulled this out, brought that out? But instead of me, sometimes I find when I go in there, guys, and I start pulling hair out, when you pull hair out like that, it just looks too, I don't know, it doesn't look natural for me. So that's a, this is a great way just to get a nice natural kind of feeling out of any of your upsets by simply working with a chamois cloth and some hairspray. All right, let's take you and let's put you now uh, over here. All right. I'm going to put you over here, my dear. Let's see how high we can get you. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Yeah, guys, you see, it's kind of tough working by, my, by myself. Jackie. <laughs> All right. I got this. All right, here we go. Put you back there now. All right. Those are the flowers. All right. All right. Let's go back. I'm going to reach to the past here, Jackie, and bring this one back out and show them. I haven't done this one in a long time. All right. Let's do a braided donut. All right which I think is real fun. Have you guys enjoyed today? Hope you got something out, out of today. I've got a few minutes left. What have you done here, Sam? I put in a tilted ponytail, kind of tilts off to one side, as you can see. Okay. Now I'm just going to take a donut. Okay. I'm going to place the donut inside. I think I want a little bit more of a smoother donut. Okay. So let's go smooth. All right. Now let's take this hair. Now, don't panic on me, guys, all right? So watch how I'm going to take this hair here, and I'm just going to throw this hair over the donut. All right? And I haven't done this one in a long time. So let's see how this comes out. All right? So now, let's say, for example, you've gone in, you did a highlight, and you had some time to dry it, and she's going to go out and want something fun. So this is just a great idea. I mean, this to me would be more kind of evening. But see, I'm just brushing out that that and just kind of laying everything out over the donut. Okay. Now, once I've got this through that donut, okay, let me just get all the tangles out. All right. All right. Now, once I'm here, all right, guys. Then all what I want to do is I want to go through. I can't even remember how to do this. <laughs> Have you ever been there before? You're like, okay, how did I do this? All right, I'm gonna throw this over. I know how to do it. All right, throw it over. All right, now take and brush this out. <laughs> Jackie, are you laughing? <laughs> all right, here we go. Sam, who's Jackie? Jackie's a great record artist. You need to follow her, Jackie Leister. And I need to follow her and watch her YouTube channel. She's doing some great stuff. And she's a great color. She's a great hair cutter, too. But keep an eye on that one, Jackie Leister. You're going to hear about her. All right, I'm going to take a, a, color, a covered elastic, cloth elastic, and I'm going to place it right over that donut. All right, there we go. All right, now once I've got that, then what I'm going to do is, let me just loosen her up a little bit. All right. There we go. All right. Now, I'm going to take the top right here. All right. Just about there, guys. I know as I'm doing this, I'll start to put some closure on it. Now, I'm going to divide this into three. 
I think the past is where we learn, the future is where we apply it. So I'm going to go with the past, a donut, mm-hmm. and the past, a braid, but watch what I'm going to do it. Now I'm simply going to braid over the donut. All right. So I'm going to do a three strand inside plot. Okay. Adding thing, everything to the middle, to the middle, add to the middle. Now I come through, palm, pinch, middle. And uh, people ask me if I work out. Yes, I do. I work out with my mannequins. <laughs> Can't you tell? Look at my mannequins. Yeah, but I think it's really important. Practice, practice. Said that earlier, that practice makes better. Pick that up from Tippy Shorter, uh, Mazzani, Global Artistic Director. But it's so true, uh, Tippy. Practice, practice, practice is what's so, so important. All right. As I'm coming through, guys, I want to thank you so much for joining me. Stay here with me. Watch this. You're going to be surprised how this is going to finish. Okay. But it's been uh, a nice spending an hour with you. I hope you're walking away with at least one thing that you feel you can use behind the chair. Use. It's so important. Look, guys, I, you know, I'm not uh, a genius. I'm not a rock star. I'm a hairdresser who's proud to be your messenger, proud to be a teacher. And I will continue to research, find things, and then get on and share it with you. That's what's so important. I also want you to understand that eventually someday we are going to get on to back to live education. We have two resources today, online and offline. Okay, a lot of online education going on. But it's so important, guys, that you take it, you make it your own. Make it work for you. Practice, practice, practice. Then offline. Offline is those live events. Yes, I believe those live events are going to come back, but they're going to come back in a really different, different sort of way. So stay tuned for that and make sure that you get yourself to a live event when they do happen. And, yes, they will happen in a safe, right way. I trust and believe that. But education is something as hairdressers, we must never cease to learn. Imagine as a teacher, I must never cease to learn. I really believe even more as hairdressers, we must never cease to learn. Now look at what I did. All I did was just braid over the donut and just when I I picked up hair and just kept braiding and you braid out. Okay. Now I'm simply going to come through and I'm going to attach an elastic to this. Don't forget on Wednesdays, it's Wellness Wednesdays with Andrew Carruthers. Uh, at uh, 7 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time, you'll see Andrew. Andrew's doing some great, great things in terms of mindset and conversations. And then we are also going to be going on Tuesdays. We're going to go live in August. And you'll see that will be Transformation Tuesdays that's going to take place. And we'll have special guests for that. So now look at what I just did. Now watch what I'm going to do now. Don't panic. Okay. When I'm here, all I'm simply going to do is grab this. Bring it up and pull this, lift from the braid, and pull this off the donut. Okay? Now take your donut, slide your donut off. All right? Look for your elastic. There's your elastic. And now look at what I've been able to create. Okay? And I just love moving this around. And when I move it around, hold still, my dear. When I move this around, it's amazing what you just start to to get. And, you know, once again, guys, I'm just the messenger, just really, really just finding things, discovering things. Look, anywhere I pull that, can you see that, guys? You could pull this in different, different directions in terms of how you see this working. But I think it's so important that we continue to discover ways in which we can take the fabric and complement the human body. If you learned something today, just give me a yes. Hope you guys learned something today. Sammy. Yes, Kurt. I'm still shaking my head. I have still the question I always ask you is, can you do something like that with me? (laughs) What happened to you when I started cutting your hair many, many years ago? Yes. I I had a full head of hair when Sam started cutting it, and look what he's done to me. So, uh, Sammy, I think the point you just brought up, I want to share with the audience, the online education that is so prevalent today. And we're really proud of what we've contributed during COVID. As you all may recall, we had that full two-day event back in April called The Show Must Go On. Well, we are creating what we're calling right now The Show Must Go On 2, and this is next weekend. Yes. So Sunday and Monday, two four-hour sessions, Sunday and another one on Monday, and eight full hours of education with the Sanvia art team, uh, including, I know all of you that we, Jesse and Jesse Linares and Anna Peters nearly broke the internet with their education in the show must go on and received so much positive response. Well, they're back for 
Um, the show must go on too this weekend. So you get your Jesse and Anna fix again this next weekend. But what's really critical for us is the contributors that are coming. Sammy, and I'll let you talk more about our contributors as I introduce them. But on Saturday, we've got Roderick Samuels and Lauren Mosier yes. from Air Lab Detroit coming to contribute on Saturday. And then Evie Johnson from Mazzani, she's coming in on Sunday. So why don't you tee them up a little bit and give them, our audience an opportunity to understand what they're in for this weekend. Actually, Kurt, do me a favor. Check those dates, buddy. I believe it's Sunday, Monday, not Saturday. Sunday, Monday. That's correct. If I misspoke, everyone, Sunday the 26th, Monday the 27th. Yeah. Check on that to be sure, brother, just so yeah. we're sure on that. But I'm yeah. pretty sure it's 26, 27. That's uh, correct. Roderick, right. Roderick, Roderick and Lauren are awesome guys. You're going to be able to see some texture. You'll be able to see, I mean, two talented people, husband and wife team, that happen to own a uh, school, a barber school in Detroit, Detroit Lab. So I think you're going to have some really good time watching them. We just lost Sammy. Uh, he was just talking about the Detroit Hair Lab. He's back. Sam, you're ready to go, buddy. We just okay. All right. So anyway, you're going to get a chance to see them on Sunday. And then on Monday, we have Evie Johnson. But don't miss the show must go on on Sunday and Monday. I hope you guys were able to learn something today. Today was all about adding value, working with some long hair, uh, working with some ideas in terms of setting the hair if you're not blow drying, et cetera. But I had some fun. I hope you guys had some fun and you're walking away with something. Don't forget Mannequin Mondays. I'll be here with you on Mannequin Mondays. And also, don't forget that uh, at the end of the month on Mannequin Mondays, we're going to have Evie Johnson. She'll be here. So she'll not only be doing uh, the fat. No, wait a minute. No, she's not because we won't have that because of the 27th. Right. Got it, Kurt. So we won't have a mannequin Monday on the 27th, but don't miss uh, Andrew on Wednesdays. Check out our July Christmas in July sale, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye, everyone.